Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Click PLC High Speed Counter Input uh, Frequency Measurement Mode. And um, all the detailed information contained in this video can be found at our website at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links to the in the description below that will start you at video number one. And there will be links for the rest of the videos in the series as well. So look for that. Now, what I have is a uh, dart pickup. It's a magnetic pickup that will give me 10 pulses per revolution. I'm going to connect that to the uh, Click PLC. And this is the wiring diagram for it. We have three wires coming off. It could be wired in as sourcing or syncing um, configuration. So the way we're going to actually wire it is we'll have the um, We'll have it as syncing, so that means our common sits at plus 24 volt. The other side will go to our black wire of our dart. Then the power wire um, will go to our plus 24 volt. And then our output white wire from the dart will go to X1, which is our first input. So that is our wiring diagram. Our actual program, again, there are, are three different ways we can call up our high speed input. We have a uh, icon right here. We can go to our function and we can call up our high speed counter or high speed input setup right here. Or we can go to our main menu across the top of the page, hit, hit setup and go to our high speed input. What that will do is it will call up our high speed input configuration and which is located right here. And what we're looking at is our frequency. It's right here. So it gives me that timing chart to show me exactly what it's doing. And we can just hit, hit use this mode. And that brings up my frequency measurement configuration. So we'll leave this mostly as a default. We'll have our frequency one as the name of it. And our current frequency, we're gonna put this in DD1, right there. And you'll see that my red check mark goes to green indicating that everything's good and then we have uh, measurement this can be in frequency which is Hertz which is pulses per second so you see here that on my diagram here it tells me the number of pulses that we will we'll receive per second equals my frequency or we can do RPM revolutions per minute now when we do RPM we have to tell it how many pulses are we getting per 360 degrees, in our case here, off of a drill. Um, and we're going to get 10 pulses per 360 degrees. So every 10 pulses is going to give me, um, do it for the minute, and it'll tell me how many RPM I'm going to go. So we'll leave it like that. And then we have here our pulse input. We have a single input. We could do a quadrature as well, but, um, which gives you an A, B uh, phase. But we're going to leave we have a single on the start. And we can select our actual input, which is B, X1. And we'll look at the rising edge, just like here. We could actually look at the falling edge, which is the opposite side. Um, but we'll leave it as a default on the rising edge. So that is our setup here. We'll hit OK. And there's my frequency. We can quickly see that it's using X1 as the high speed. And down here, this is where we can edit or we can delete that and do something else. But everything looks good. So we'll hit OK. Now, if we look up on our diagram, we're going to put a um, one line of logic in here. And we're going to take a look at DD1, which is our frequency. And if it's equal to zero, what we're going to do is turn on our output and then we have an end statement. So let's uh, transfer this program into our Click PLC. Okay, we will proceed runtime edit. And we'll proceed runtime edit. There we go. So we are actually transferring that into the PLC. And if we actually look at our hardware, you'll see that I am connected through my ethernet port here. And here's my Dart, uh, my 
magnetic pickup connecting it to my drill and we have our black zero volt DC plus volt plus voltage on my red and my signal wire is my white then I have my um, common for my input going back to my plus 24 so that's my wiring diagram right now you can see that my first output is lit or on based on the fact that uh, DD0 contains the value of 0 now if I call up through uh, my data view and we look at DD1 there's, uh, there's my frequency and there's my current value of 0 and what we'll do is we'll actually start this drill and as we do we will start I'll start slow and you can see that we're actually measuring revolutions per minute so you see we're about 87 so the faster we go the higher that number okay and then when I stop you'll see that it'll eventually go back to zero again because again it has to calculate so that we have a little time lag and then we have our output signal indicating that we're back at zero so this is ideal for uh, calculating when a motor actually stops and you can see that we actually can see that turning on and off without very much programming at all so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button below if you have any questions about this video please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it if you want more information about us or you want to get our two free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging please click on the link in the description below to get it a new video is put out every Monday so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get more videos like this in the future thanks so much for watching I'll see you next time